If you're brand new to using DaVinci Resolve and then you realize your C drive space is mysteriously running out of space, well, that could be caused by DaVinci Resolve. And so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually locate these files and remove them so that they don't take up all the space on your C drive. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. And so here's the main issue with DaVinci Resolve when it comes to taking up space. So whenever you're editing your videos and then you want it to get better performance, especially if you're using a slower machine, you're typically going to come up here to the playback options and then you could use proxy media or you could use a timeline proxy mode at half or quarter resolutions. And whenever you do this, it actually creates these additional proxy media or cache files. And whenever you do that, this takes up space on your hard drive. And the thing is, currently DaVinci Resolve, as far as I know, doesn't have a way to automatically clean these up. And so if you're wondering where these files are stored, well, you could find this out through DaVinci Resolve. So you go up here to your file, project settings, and you'll come down here to working folders. And this is where all these files are stored. So here's the proxy location file, here's the cache files, and here's the gallery stills locations. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to this folder. So this is C drive users. There's my user ID videos, and there is the folders that it should be in if you created any of these files. So if I go here to my C drive, and then I go to users, there's my user ID, and then you come down here to videos, there it is. So there is a cache clip folder. There is a dot gallery folder. And if I had any proxy media files, it would create a proxy media folder as well. So right now I'm primarily using the playback at half or quarter resolution. And whenever I do that, it creates these cache clips. So if I go back here to my playback options, you see this timeline proxy mode, I normally have it at half or quarter resolution. And what ends up happening is it creates those files in this cache clip folder. And if you go here, there's a whole bunch of files here. And if I actually looked at the size of this cache clip folder, just go ahead and go to your properties. You see that it takes up 18.8 .8 gigs. And so you could easily see that if you're constantly creating projects and using these uh, proxy cache clip files, then it's going to take up a lot of space. And so the easiest way to clean that up is you go in this folder and then you basically select everything in here and you delete everything. So that's like the easiest way to do that. So you just select all and then delete everything because you don't really need this unless you're going to go back to your older projects and reuse them again. In that case, DaVinci Resolve is going to have to recreate those files. Whereas if you leave them there, DaVinci Resolve already knows from your project settings. So now you look at the properties, there's nothing in there. And if you look at your C drive space, you should have some space that's come back here. So uh, that's really a great thing because I was running out of space and I didn't know where the actual storage was being taken up. And that's where it is. It was taken up by DaVinci Resolve. For all your email marketing needs, check out Aweber, the premier service news at geekoutdoors.com. Get signed up today for free and also get 100% free complete account migration. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now, another way in which you can actually remove the cache clip files is actually for each project itself. So if you go up here to playback, you see an option here called delete render cache. So you can delete all, unuse, or select the clips. And the only thing is it only does it for this particular project. And so I still recommend doing it the other way if you wanted to free up all your space. But if you still wanted to use those older cache files and then it doesn't have to re-render it, then you could do it at a per project level. And so that is it on this video on how you could locate files that are taking up space because of DaVinci Off and how you could clean it up. If you actually had any thoughts on how to do this or maybe you know of a way to remove this automatically, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did enjoy this DaVinci Resolve tutorials and tips and you wanted to see more videos like this, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. And if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, 
then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Goal Content Creators Group. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.